Hello everyone. Last video we discussed about the how to install Power BI desktop into your local machines. Today we will discuss about what is Power BI and Microsoft Power BI offers different services. So Microsoft Power BI is a self-service business intelligence tool. This offers two different services. One is an on-prem server and it's a cloud-based server. If you want to publish your reports into the Power BI services or on-prem server, you need to download the two different desktops. Let's say example, if you want to publish the on-prem servers, you need to download Power BI report server version. And if you want to publish the cloud-based server, you need to download the cloud desktop. So to differentiate those uh, desktop version, you can see the picture here. When you download report server, you can see the RS symbol. But when you download the cloud based version, you can see the Power BI desktop normal symbol, right? This is the major difference between two desktop. If you want to publish this data source to report server, you need to publish to the report server itself. It won't go to the Power BI cloud service. There are the two different separate versions which is available in a Power BI desktops, right? So if you want to connect two different sources into the Power BI desktop, there are multiple connectors are available. You can be able to connect your data into different environments. Let's say example, you want to connect the SQL server and if you want to connect to the Excel sheets and if you want to connect to the Salesforce, this is a combination of data sources which you can be able to pull your data into the Power BI desktop and you can build your report and you can publish to the service versions, right? So, uh, and again, there are multiple components are available in the Power BI desktop. Like when you install the Power BI desktop itself, you will see the different components within the desktop itself. Like one is a Power Query component, one is a Power Pivot component, one is Power View component, one is Power App. So these four components itself can give you much flexibility to build your report to the end users. Let's say example, if you go to the Power Query, this is the ETL activity where you can mush up your data, clean your data, cleanse your data. The Power Pivot can give you multiple offers. Let's say example, if you want to do some creation of hierarchy, if you want to create some calculation, the Pivot, those can help you using the Power Pivot and the Power View. If you want to visualize the things using the data, you can use the Power View. And there are multiple inbuilt applications are available within the power view itself let's say example if you want to create the bar chart pie chart using so many uh, like 35 visualizations itself available in the power view if you want to connect a different source there is a app store where you can download from the outside app and you can build your reports and power map the power map can give you much flexibility to give you 3d map visualizations into your power bay desktop so these components will help you to uh, give you good storytelling manner to create your dashboards and another key components of the power is office 365 using this office 365 cloud based service these are the mainly subscription based whenever you want to purchase cloud services you can collaborate your data to the different users to analyze your data and also export the data into the excel reports and so many things you can able to do using the power bi site there are a q and a artificial intelligence where you can ask the questions to the power bi service you can get the outputs and also you can schedule the refreshes using the different components like on-prem sources if you want to get live data you can able to do that in the power bi services also that's all about it today thank you